Welcome back to the next part of our tour. We're walking up the ramp that's attached to the cafeteria. In front of me is the auditorium, which has the big door open so people can see right in. We have lots of different events here, student assemblies. Right now it's a mask break. Typically we have our drama club holds their plays in the auditorium. This is one of the classrooms we have, Mr. Curran's, which holds a lot of the music elective classrooms. He's also an English teacher here. On the second floor, we have a few programs, starting with graphic communications, where the students work very hard on their Adobe and Photoshop certifications. They create a lot of the beautiful posters around the building. They create their own posters. They do a lot of competitions with each other. We have these large scale printers. We have this huge digital press. Lots of expensive machinery. They have the newest, latest, greatest Apple computers. Right now up here, they're separated by plexiglass. They all have their own separate areas as well. They have an additional classroom. And around the corner, there is a dark room, a video editing room and audio recording room. In the back, there's a printing room. Mr. Chauvin teaches his classes back here. They work a lot with color and ink. They make t-shirts. They work on embroidery. Students develop the creative and technical ability to turn ideas into printed products through design education and use of appropriate software. Skill development includes Adobe software proficiency, layout and design for a variety of printed media, including offset printing, dye sublimation, screen printing, digital printing and embroidery. Next up, we have legal and protective services. In legal and protective services, students are provided with opportunity to take part in a course of study that combines rigorous academic and unique real life learning opportunities. Students explore concepts such as crime, scene investigation, criminal justice, security systems, physical conditioning, first responder training, constitutional law, ethics, sociology, psychology, criminology, private investigation, and history of major crime. Next program is Computer Information Systems. There's two different rooms. They work on hardware, software, and networking. Many of the students go into cybersecurity. Students are introduced to the world of computers and business. Computer, hardware, software, networking, cable, Cabling, web design, and programming, as well as business applications are taught in a hands-on environment. Certification courses are included in the curriculum, preparing students for CompTIA IT Fundamentals, CompTIA Plus, CompTIA Networking Plus, Cisco MTA certification exams. This hallway brings us to the back of the auditorium and to the front of the Library Media Center. Our Library Media Center specialist, Mr. Degan, and our homework center. Students are able to stay after school, get help from teachers Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays after school. The last two programs on the second floor include medical assisting. Hello. 
We're gonna go in and check out medical assisting. This is broken into two, two rooms. The students gain many certifications in the medical field. They learn how to greet patients when they come into the office. They learn how to take vitals and they will be trained and certified in phlebotomy. Health Careers is the last program on the second floor. This program is designed to help students with the numerous career opportunities available to them in the rapidly growing health career field. Students will be prepared for entry level positions such as certified nursing assistant, home health aide, habilitation support specialist. Students receive certifications in nursing assistant, health, home health aide, AHA healthcare provider, CPR, AED, AHA first aid, CPR, AED, OSHA 10, Alzheimer's Association's person centered dementia care, and Dean Vaughn medical terminology. And we are back to the cafeteria where the students are eating lunch. And that concludes this part of the tour.